Hi everyone, it's Liam here from A Shot of Wildlife and in this video I'm going to tell you almost everything you need to know about the kestrel. The common kestrel is a small but widespread member of the falcon family. They're also known as the European, the Eurasian or the Old World kestrel and in the UK we just call them kestrels. They're found across most of Europe, North and Central Africa, and in a lot of countries in Asia, as far east as Japan. In the UK, they don't migrate, but in some parts of their range where temperatures get lower, they will head south for the winter. They have a wingspan of 65 to 80 centimetres, and weigh from 135 to 315 grams. There is such a noticeable difference between their highest and lowest weights, in part, because the females are larger than the males. They also have different plumage from one another. Males have grey coloured heads with mottled chestnut brown backs. Their tails are also grey and tipped with a black band. Females do not have the distinct grey markings and are mottled brown over most of their bodies except for their tails which have dark bars across them. Both birds have yellow feet, hooked beaks and large eyes surrounded by a thin yellow rim. Juveniles look similar to females but with a more streaked pattern in their feathers. Kestrels rely upon open habitat for hunting and are usually found around farms, in grasslands and heaths and marshland areas but they are also a common sight along roadsides where grassy verges can offer them a lot of prey. Their diet is mainly made up of small mammals such as voles, mice and shrews, but they will also take small birds, lizards, amphibians and even invertebrates such as worms and beetles. To find their prey, they often fly on the spot by facing into and flying at the same speed as the wind or scanning the area below. It's thought that they can see in the ultraviolet light range which means they might be able to spot the urine trails of small mammals even when the animals themselves are out of sight. They can also hunt from a static perching position. This requires less energy, but is also less likely to result in success. Each kestrel needs to eat between 4 and 8 vol-sized meals per day to maintain itself, and sometimes they'll catch, kill and cache prey for later. Kestrels are mainly monogamous and can start breeding from one year of age, although most of the time it takes until their second year for them to secure a mate and territory. Once they have both of these, they begin prospecting for nesting sites, usually in tree hollows or rock crevices, but they will also nest on building ledges, in old crow nests, and they are regular users of special made kestrel nesting boxes. Once a nest site is chosen, from late April to the middle of May, each female will lay between three and six speckled orange eggs that measure just under four centimetres long. These are produced at two day intervals but will only be laid if the female is well fed, meaning that in seasons where food is in low supply, some kestrel pairs will completely fail to breed. The eggs take 27 to 29 days to hatch and are incubated by both parents from after the third or fourth is laid. At first, the chicks are covered in a layer of white down. They aren't able to maintain their body temperature so are constantly brooded by their mother whilst the male brings a ready supply of food. After 12 days, the chicks are big and feathered enough to be left alone, at which point both parents take up the feeding duties. By four weeks of age, the young birds will be fully feathered and begin to branch out and away from the nest, often returning to roost there overnight. Their parents will continue to feed them whilst they learn to find and hunt prey for themselves and after a further four weeks, the young birds will be fully independent. After this, the youngsters disperse from their parents' territory but things are tough for their first 12 months. Less than one in three of them survive to one year of age with a lot of the youngsters dying from starvation. Each pair of kestrels will only nest once per year, often returning to the same nesting site for consecutive breeding seasons. 
Across their range, Kestrel numbers are stable, but they have declined in numbers in the UK over the past 25 years. The exact cause of this decline isn't known, but it has been suggested that it's a combination between a lack of prey caused by changes in farming practices and a lack of suitable nesting sites. There are currently around 31,000 pairs of kestrels in the country and they have an average lifespan of about four years. In captivity, they have been known to live to 24 years of age and the oldest known wild bird made it to just shy of 16 years old. Here is what a kestrel sounds like. Well there we go. If you enjoyed this video and you learned something new, check out this British Wildlife video. And if you like that, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.